Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. Now, as you know, we have been exploring Southeast Asian mythology recently, but I'm going to just switch things up a bit and look at another piece of mythology that has played a crucial role in defining the different regions of the continent of Europe. Uh, Europe as a whole, even with the EU nowadays, has been trying to build out a common, homogeneous kind of a feeling and history together. But there are different regions in Europe which each have their own specific characteristics in terms of a common history, in terms of a mythology behind it, a belief system that existed before the expansion of Christianity in the region, and also the political structure of various countries had this common system where they all believed in a certain set of mythologies and folklore and tradition and legends that were common to the region. Now, each of the countries within these regions have their own versions of it. But what we do is we try to club them together and give you a common front which actually talks a lot about the way the people thought and the way they worship gods in their time. Now, what we are doing today is we are exploring the Baltic region and especially Baltic animals and the dreaded Asdaya. The Asdaya is a demonic version of the Smaj, a dragon that is popular in other European mythologies which lived for more than a hundred years. It has a number of odd heads and is characterized by a terrible growl. The creature is known to eat humans and animals. In Serbia, it is believed that St. George killed an Azdaya and not a regular dragon. That is a crucial element because St. George killing the dragon is a very common motif even in Celtic mythology, Balkan mythology and also in ancient Christian mythology because St. George is an important figure in Christianity as well. But we are not going to delve into that. We are talking about the fact that the Azdaya was the actual creature that St. George killed which is considered to be the belief in Serbia. Now, in some regions, Yazdaya is also considered to be a snake. In some regions, Yazdaya is also considered to be a snake who has lived for a long time, which is generally a period in the excess of a hundred years and has slowly metamorphosed or changed uh, itself into the Yazdaya. Even in some areas, there is the common belief that it can be either a snake or a dragon was eaten another one of its kind after defeating them in battle. So if a snake which has been around for a long time defeated another one in battle and then decided to eat the snake, they transform into the Azdaya as well. Now the Azdaya is usually depicted as either having three, five or seven heads, depending on the region that the mythology is from. But the most common interpretation or the illustration that we have seen over the years is that of a three-headed dragon. It has a constant angry demeanor and was malevolent in nature. Its physicality was so evil that the Christianity adopted its likeness for it the representation of its version of evil, the devil. So basically a horned creature with a long tail and hooves as well is what Yazdaya was usually depicted as because that has a lot of similarities to that of a dragon. And Christianity actually decided just to adopt it and humanize the form to part the fear of evil and the love of God among its believers. The Azdaya is often confused with the Smaj, which is a common mistake that happens uh, to people who actually decide to read through mythology, because the Smaj is actually a creature that is very friendly to human beings and has often worked along with human beings to uh, achieve a common goal. And the Azdaya is considered to be the evil version of a Smaj or a dragon. They are referred in different names across the Baltic region. They are properly known as the Azdaha, Ala or Hala and is distinct from other dragons of the time and within the mythology of the region. The Azdaya is known to be able to fly and breathe fire through its multiple heads like any other dragon. They are in constant conflict with humans and other animals. They are also known to live underground in dark caves and were also attributed to volcanic eruptions which were generally uh, caused due to the Azdaya's anger and the fire and the lava resulting from the anger causing it to spew fire underground. Modern depictions of evil dragons and multi-headed flying monsters stem from the characterization of the evil Azdaya. 
In most mythologies of the time, dragons were not considered to be harmful to humans, apart from the Azaya, which periodically attacked and ate humans for food or simply out of spite. So the whole negative connotation to dragons stemmed from the creature Azdaya, which is a very important part of the Baltic mythology. Otherwise, the dragons were considered to be friends, and this whole negative concept we can actually see being uh, used in various other mythologies like Chinese, Japanese, Korean mythology as well, where they also have good and friendly dragons. So the concept of duality of nature, where you have something evil to counteract something good, is an again a common feature that you can see across mythologies from around the world. A lot more ca uh, characters, animals and hybrids in the Baltic region that we really should be looking into and we will be doing that in the episodes to come. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Mythlok. This is your host Nitin Naya signing off by reminding you once again that Mythlok is the home of mythology.